The Justice Department didn't merely abandon its case against President Donald Trump's former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn on Thursday. It also reversed course on several key points about the case and renounced years of legal arguments put forward by special counsel Robert Mueller and career prosecutors. After walking back those positions, political appointees at the Justice Department offered a new rationale for why the case should be dropped. The end result is closely aligned with Trump's view, the president has repeatedly said Flynn didn't do anything wrong and was mistreated by the FBI. The Justice Department made the bombshell announcement in a court filing signed only by Timothy Shea, the U.S. attorney in Washington, D.C. Attorney General William Barr appointed Shea to the position this year after the departure of his predecessor, Jesse Liu. CNN reported that Liu was sidelined because Trump was unhappy with her handling of politically sensitive cases. The Justice Department attributed many of its reversals to what it called newly discovered information that was surfaced during a Barr-ordered review of the case. After some of the materials were unsealed last week, Trump seized on the development, tweeting dozens of times about Flynn and publicly declaring that Flynn deserved to be exonerated. Here are the major ways that the Justice Department shifted its views on Flynn, the FBI was investigating Flynn's communications with Russian government officials as part of the larger investigation into links between Trump's presidential campaign and Russians. The overarching probe was launched in July 2016 and eventually became the Mueller investigation. Then FBI Director James Comey previously told Congress that he sent agents to question Flynn to find out whether there was something we were missing about his relationship with the Russians. The FBI was ready to close its collusion investigation into Flynn, but then top Trump officials started spreading false information in TV interviews about Flynn's contacts with Russia. Justice Department lawyers previously said that the topic of sanctions, which Flynn discussed with the Russian ambassador, went to the heart of the FBI's counterintelligence investigation. In his phone calls, Flynn urged the Russians not to retaliate against new U.S. sanctions, imposed by then-President Barack Obama as punishment for Russian interference in the 2016 election. What the Justice Department says now, in the new filing on Thursday, the Justice Department says the investigation into Flynn was no longer justified by the time Comey sent FBI agents to interview him on January 24, 2017. After a considered review of all the facts and circumstances of this case, including newly discovered and disclosed information, the government has concluded that the interview of Mr. Flynn was untethered to, and unjustified by, the FBI's counterintelligence investigation into Mr.